Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. You got it, like, Chief. Um, now I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, We'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Nice friendly okay. banter. Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer red. A job like this in the United Colony? Huh. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid for a break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions! Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Are they playing Minecraft for real?
Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Am I Dusty? Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Talk to your ass anyway. How they suck are you to join? They're ready for us. Get back up here. Come on. It's time. You're with me. Okay. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Then the new guy. Uh, um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. I guess I'll just blindly go through this cave with no flashlight. Do you see anything? Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh, good. Let's make me. Hmm. Select profile. Let's start at the top. Nope. Nope. Mm. Yeah. 
Which one looks like me? The purple frog. <laughs> You'd be old man. Is that 33? That one's pretty close, I guess. Uh, that's probably the closest. Body. Let's go with. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, sure. Body type. No, thanks. Skin tone, face. Yeah, I mainly want to change my well pair. Nope. Zoom out. Hey, you can't. Mm. Was it? It was. Yeah, fifteen. I guess is close. Sure. Some facial hair on this mug. Like that patch in the middle. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, too red. That'll work. All right. Eyes. Yeah, that'll work. Tattoos on his face. Scars. No, I don't have any scars. Background. Oh, good. There's a lot. Beast Hunter from Ashta of Aquila, the terramorphs that plague the whole of the settled systems. Hostile aliens, life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. Bouncer. You've worked on the line, uh, worked the line at the toughest clubs in the settled systems. Back then, you learned most non-lethal confrontations can be solved in two ways: a strong right hook, or uh, or a more strongly secured door. And whenever there are wanted individuals, there are those who profit from their capture. And your quarry knows that in the vastness of space, they can run, but they can't hide. Chef. While the unrefined masses scarfed down chunks by the shipload, you catered to those with more discerning, uh, discerning palate. In your kitchen, countless alien species became true culinary masterpieces. Combat medic. Leave it to human beings to fight over something as infinite as outer space. That's where you come in. You've never been afraid to take on the enemy, but you'd much rather take care of your friends. 
Cyber Runner. From Neon to New Atlantis, the mega corporation stands as a monument to power, prestige, and profit. You worked both for and against them, on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscious for credits. Uh, cybernetist, robots, mere toys, neuro, uh, ne neuro amps. Good for parlor tricks. The colony war may have uh, made implants and upgrades available to veterans, but once you saw a greater future, humans and machines as one. Yeah, I don't think so. Diplomat, the wars are over. Peace now reigns. The settled systems, but only because there are those quietly who those quietly fighting to keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words were heeded, lives were spared. Explorer. They said exploration was a is a lost art. You didn't listen. As the major factions argue over space they desperately tried to control, you were busy uncovering the world's, uh, the wonders of the settled systems. Gangster. You were always disgusted by sucker, suckers killing themselves to make an honest wage. As soon as you were old enough to hold a weapon, you took what you wanted from anyone unlucky enough to have it. Homesteader. The discovery of these set of systems, many oxygen-rich planets and moons, meant humans could live just about anywhere. If they had, uh, if they had uh, the know-how, you did, and utilize it to great effect. Industrialist. There was a time when all you wanted to do was be a titan of industry, maybe a ship designer or mega uh, mega corp exec. Thankfully, the set uh, skill set never go out of style in the settled system. Long hauler. Let those uh, other hothead pilots obsess over laser weapons and maneuverability. You're a space trucker, pure and simple. Pack the cargo, get it there as fa that fast. Get paid, repeat. Life is simple and good. I like that one. Pilgrim, wayfarer. Whoops, wayfarer, wanderer, seeker, transient. You become many things. Uh, you've been called many things during your travels and learned something those others could never understand. The journey is the destination. Professor. You always enjoyed learning, but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others. As humankind spread throughout the stars, there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and you gladly assisted. Ronan. Masterless and unbound, you wandered the settled systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were a simple mercenary, to others, a hero, and to a select few, a nightmare they could never wake from. Sculptor. Found not found. Oh, <laughs> that's on purpose. Uh, sculptor. With your knowledge of anatomy and skill, steady hands, you could have a lucrative career as a surgeon. Instead, you followed your heart and created works of art to amaze and inspire. Soldier. The cell systems are no strangers to Wayfair, and if there's anything, if there's one thing armed conflicts rely on, it's trained warriors with guns and guts. You had both. Simple, bloody work. You were great at it. Space Scoundrel. Good, bad, who's right is it to say? If there's anything you've learned while, uh, crapsing? Crapsing? Crappiesing? Look. <laughs> I know that word. It'll come to me later. <laughs> uh, through the galaxy, it's this. Space may look black, but it's really one big shade of gray. Xenobiologist. The set of systems is home to untold alien species. While none of them have yet proven sentient, that never deterred you. So you sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they offered. File not found. Oddly, there, there is no information on this file about your past life. Uh, clerical oversight? Deletion of some uh, by some powerful unknown faction? Or is there just nothing of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is the here and now and the path you're about to forge. Uh, I kind of like the long hauler, but Space Scoundrel sounds kind of cool too. Pistol certification. Uh, I definitely want piloting. 
ballistic weapon system seems good though. But I also like to talk. Uh, yeah, I'll go with, I'll go with that. Great. Alien DNA. You volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien DNA. As a result, you start in, uh, with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. What? Dream home. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a $125,000 credit mortgage to Gale Bank that has to be paid weekly. Like, permanently? Empath. You are deeply connected to feelings of others. Performing acts your companions like will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness. But, performing actions they do not like will have the precise opposite effect. Who thinks? Extrovert. You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen for venturing with human companions, but eat more when you're adventuring alone. You cannot be combined with introvert. Three star collective settle. You gain access to special uh, free star collective dialogue options, better reward uh, from some missions given by the faction, but crime bounties towards other faction is greatly increased cannot be combined with other factions hero worshipped you've earned the attention of an annoying adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly on the plus side he'll join you and your ship's crew and give you gifts introvert you really need your alone time exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone but more when adventuring uh, with other humans. Huh? Oh, so, okay. So, if I don't have a companion, that works. Alright, got it. Kid stuff. Your parents are alive and well. You can visit them at their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. Okay. Neon Street Red. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. Gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on Neon. Crime boundaries with other factions are greatly increased. Raised Enlightened. You grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to special chests full of items at the House of the Enlightened in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. It's the opposite. Serpents of a race. You grew up worshipping a great serpent. Graph. Jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen. But health and oxygen are lower if you don't continue jumping regularly. Spaced. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when on the surface. Occasionally, Taskmaster. Occasionally, if you if if you have crew trained on a certain st uh, ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below fifty percent. However, all crew cost twice twice uh, cost twice as much to hire. Terra firma. You've never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased on the surface and you're decreased when you're in space. Hmm. United Colony Native. You gain access to the special United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards for some uh, missions given by the faction. However, crime, bounty, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wanted. Someone put a price on your head, and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. You're, when your health is low, you do extra damage. Okay. Do wanted. I don't know which one I want. 
Uh, I definitely don't want that. I don't know which one is which. I know one is like a spawn of the other one. I guess enlightened. Oh, so it like blocks it out. Mm. Alien DNA. And we'll do Taskmaster, sure. And we're done. He, him. <laughs> Can I, I can't change my pronouns? Oh boy. Thank you. Almost forgot about your application. The one note I had on your file was troublemaker. What? Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? There was this light and music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Excuse me. A constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Earth? Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Took off the spacesuit. There we go.
Yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? You could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? And grab a weapon. Optional weapons? Yeah. you saw it the visions you're coming with me to constellation you're part of this now if you'll take me on this damn moon sign me up nothing wrong with honest work although uh, uh, yeah yes see your point oh no Barrett no you think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused all right I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Thanks for everything, Lynn. Eh, what about the mine? You don't need me? Now that we've been attacked... Oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? 
Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. You're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Who are you? What's the Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown charting the vastness of space without us the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out what exactly did we dig up that my friend is the million credit question and constellation can find the answer with your help why is the crimson fleet after you they're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. And Vasco! Goodbye. Don't let him break my ship. Suit integrity. Good news, I have no idea what I'm doing. All left. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw 
draw your attention to the HUD, you'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boost can be engaged for temporary burst of speed. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Oh, I don't want to get out. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Uh, what? It's that ship! Not what I wanted. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. instead of all.
enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. 